click that like and subscribe button and go sign up on superchargestocks.com and let's keep you notified. Good morning, everyone. It's Andrew with Supercharged Stocks. Today, we have Craig Nickel, who's the founder and managing director and CEO of GMG Graphene. This company has stormed out of the gates with lots of news, with a fresh IPO, uh, taking the whole clean energy sector by, by storm. This is quite an interesting company that has developed its own proprietary production process through the use of graphene powder. Its focus is on energy savings and energy storage solutions. Uh, this fits right into this whole clean tech sector that we're lo looking at. And they've had release after release that has stunned the market and has helped the stock to shoot up. We want to see where they're going forward. There's lots on the menu. Let's talk to Craig and find out. Great announcement today in the news. Lots happening over there at GMG. The stock has shot up enormously. There's, you're getting lots of news, lots of traction with your batteries. And then today with a big news release, uh, you know, mentioning that you're going to have your in-house pilot. You're going to be creating batteries yourself. I don't want to steal your thunder. Tell us what's happening uh, and, and kind of give us the blueprint. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Really excited to be on the show. So, yeah, we announced today that we're going to have our own uh, battery pilot plant. Um, very exciting. It should be up and running by September this year, that is. So it will enable us to make sure we can get all of the batteries uh, that we're making, coin cell batteries, to market faster and get our bigger commercial plant commercialized likely faster as well. This is in addition to the batteries that we are currently making at the University of Queensland Laboratory, who's our partner with the uh, graphene aluminium ion battery. And of course, we'll bring up the slide here, which reminds people of the data that you came out with, which was a, a big stunner. And, and it's also, quite frankly, it's the type of innovation and positive news stories that we want to see coming out of the space. And it really sets people's imagination on fire. If it has this kind of lifespan, you've just sold 20 million of these batteries, which is not a large number. That's a lot of revenue very quickly for very attractive batteries that you guys uh, are, are having a lot of <laughs> big results with. So we have over 100 companies globally that have reached out um, and very, very uh, large companies um, in the personal electronic space who want to use this battery to be able to give their customers a, a faster charging product, a, um, a longer spanning battery, and then give it in a smaller space. We will absolutely give a battery that will be smaller than their existing lithium batteries. And then in the future, uh, we, we're pretty sure it'll be lighter as well, um, which we're working on at the same time. So it does give you know, potential customers a real edge in their opportunity that they're trying to bring to market. You know, the phone is basically still um, hasn't stopped ringing for, since we made the announcement and, and we got covered in Forbes a couple of months ago now. So that has definitely uh, kept the interest high uh, and we continue to engage with some very large companies in this space, which is just extremely exciting. And what's enabled us to do is be very comfortable in bringing on this pilot plant investment um, as of today. Yeah, it's that a scalability that is so, so exciting. And I think having the performance data, if someone said, listen, we think we've got a better battery, and you go, oh, everyone thinks they've got a better battery. But you come on and you've got the data and the association with Clean, Queensland and everything, it's its like, oh boy, uh, it isn't a big expectation to think where the numbers could go. Yeah, so we're sitting at 3,000 cycles, which means it has a 10-year run life already. Now, um, there's, there's, a, there's a reasonably good chance it's going to go a lot longer. We haven't got to the end of its battery. We just stopped it. We're likely it, it will go much longer, um, and as well as it'll be much um, much heavier energy density as well. So we'll likely get a lot more energy per kilogram. Um, but the thing about the aluminum ion battery is that it will get much higher volumetric energy density. So it gives more energy per litre. Um, you know, some, some cases up to five times if we do our job really well. Uh, that's why big um, personal appliance companies are very excited about us because it enables a, the next step change, which honestly, I think that a lot of their tech is needing, um, you know, from their point of view, they really want to push it faster. Um, and so that's why we're really excited. Touching on that, I mean, uh, speaking of yourself, I mean, you've delivered like multi-billion dollar projects and both LNG and, uh, and managing sales and marketing teams across Australia and uh, Asia Pacific. Your team over there is well suited, I guess you'd say, or well-prepared for this scalability as well. And that's something I always like to highlight with people is 
okay, you've got something, you've got some data, can they deliver? And I always like to highlight the team that you've got. Yeah, we're, we're basically a fundamentally ex-shell international group um, used to delivering large energy projects, um, large gas projects. You're talking billions of dollars, most projects kind of tens of billions of dollars. Uh, and that is actually our comfort zone. So we've, we've left Shell, we've gone and created our own process from natural gas into graphene. Then we've found um, three now real awesome product um, category killers, um, our energy saving air conditioning coating system, which can reduce your energy costs for your air conditioning and reduce emissions. Your, your graphene lubricant concentrate, which is we're talking to some very big air, um, names there to put graphene concentrate into engine oil. Uh, to reduce emissions um, just by reducing friction. Uh, and that's what we've been marketing and m- making large projects for for decades each. Um, and there's a number of us at key levels and different parts of the company that have that bring that experience. Um, and so we've kind of gone through the, you know, small to middle size, uh, kind of making it happen with, you know, bootstrapping stage over the last five years, or almost in August. And now we're into, well, okay, how do we scale to multi-billion dollar projects next? And obviously, we've got to go through the first scale projects and then there'll be the larger scale. But eventually, we want to connect back to those very large projects that we actually came from. Um, and that's what's very exciting because we can now have this company in that space. Batteries are the fundamental um, product that you can scale. There's a lot of analysts out there already saying that markets for batteries are basically unlimited. The amount of batteries we will need, and I think that's true. I heard one potential customer say to me last week, he wants to batterify anything. That's the new word, batterify, right? So (laughs) when you've got got all these products in cords and he wants to go batterify everything, um, and that's not seen in the market right now, but all of those things will become batterified. Yeah. And... And that'll continue to happen on top of house uh, batteries. Obviously, EVs massive, and yeah. personal haven't. I don't think um, have finished their game because you've also got um, Internet of Things coming on. Yes, so there's millions of batteries required for Internet of Things devices, and they're all small devices that need to be nicely and quickly recharged, which our battery is perfect for as well why we have a number of Internet of Things companies reaching out for us and wanting to understand how a battery can work with theirs as well. Current lithium-ion batteries are well under what they want, you know, 600 cycles, generally what they can get. We're already at 3,000. Um, and ours is then, you know, recyclable, which is what everybody wants. They don't want to have a product that they need to throw in the bin and then work out what to do with. With lithium batteries, that's, that's what happens. Speaking with someone like yourself, is where is this going? And the mm-hmm. imagination starts taking over. You think, oh, Okay, wow. Wait a second. That's It's a big, big well, deal. We have some of our potential customers who are putting it so they want a sensor on every tree for a farmer so that wow. they record all the data for every tree in every oh. one of their farms. Then there's another company that wants to put um, our battery in a sensor for um, all the animals yeah. so that they understand what's happening with the animals. So you start to uh, think of the different... Uh, uh, IoT outcomes that we just haven't even thought of. That's really exciting to have that kind of um, you know opportunity. We haven't we have a roadmap and we're implementing a number of different products and testing them. And then at a certain point, we'll then say we have our commercial prototype. We aim for that to be by the end of the year. Then next year we'll go into pouch pack and we aim to have our commercial. Um, pouch pack, which just goes into your, normally into your phones, into your laptops and such things. We aim to have that ready by the end of next year as well. So we'll be able to make pouch packs and coin cells in our own uh, factory. So we take the graphene, we modify the graphene the way we want it in our continuous flow. And then we implement that into a testing um, program. We put that into our own coin cell, test that, and then modify it, and then keep modifying until we can get the exact optimal product performance from the graphene we make and therefore we know the connection from the gas flow that we get the graphene into the battery that we want. So you can see it's a quite a, it's a very simple program. The only thing we add on top is uh, aluminium and then, so we take a graphene, add aluminium, and then we get this uh, coin cell outcome. And then that coin cell then will be tested rigorously 
third party tested and then given to potential customers to trial. The lithium ion battery has been optimized for something like 30 or 40 years and it's kind of at its end. It's, it's done what it needs to do. We've got probably 20 or 30 years of optimization in front of us. So that pilot plant can literally be used to continually optimizing and just making it Very better cool. and then making sure that it's getting thousands of runs um, and getting enough energy charge. That's, that's what it's all about. It's the connected, integrated um, in, in one place. Um, so we are effectively a complete supply chain for batteries. Just, just give us gas and, and, and aluminium and we're there. We hope to come to an out to the market, you know, and show, oh, now this is our, our development partner. Here's this amazing company that want to work with us uh, to make these batteries grow, grow faster and, and, and integrate with them, with their, their knowledge around what the battery needs, because everybody has different battery needs. Um, and that's why there will always be lots of different batteries. So, you yeah, know, no one should be concerned about how many batteries there are. There just will be lots of batteries because there are lots of applications and everyone needs different things. People have known about graphene, the wonder material since 2011, really where it got a lot of attention, but it's taken that innovation to get to you guys, well, specifically you guys with these results to go, oh, and even still the commercialization takes a bit of time as well, but at least you're on track, you're on path. You've got that path mapped out. You shared it with us. And this is what uh, I like to really refresh people's mind is this innovation's happening and there's companies like yourself that are bringing it to, the, to them. Um, as long as they see the, the plan ahead, which, which we have, they can keep, get excited and see why also the stock has done so well. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Greg. I really appreciate you giving us some time and, and informing us and teaching us and sharing us the business plan moving forward. We're definitely watching it and keeping up to date with it. Great. Thanks, Andrew. Great to be on.